Everything you initially heard about Christine Holgate and the Cartier Watches affair was dead wrong. And there's a government report that proves it. It's now blowing up in Scott Morrison's face. This represents an historic opportunity to turn the tables on the big four banks. And Australia Post Bank is now possible. I'm Robert Barwick of the Citizens Party. As our party has previously reported, Christine Holgate was targeted for defamation because she represents a threat to the big four banks' corrupt monopoly. She got them to reimburse Australia Post $100 million annually for banking services provided on the cheap to big four customers in rural areas who had been abandoned by the banks. Without Australia Post, these rural customers would have had no access to banking services because the banks shut down hundreds of their smaller branches to maximise profits. Even more alarming for the big four than the $100 million concession was that in 2018, Christine Holgate was reported to be in talks to make Australia Post into a bank. The big banks saw this as a threat to their monopoly, and as this report puts it, they will fight it tooth and nail. Indeed, a postal bank would have many benefits for Australians, including providing safety from bail-in, offering convenient service to rural communities abandoned by the big banks, and contribute to Australian economic development by investing in infrastructure projects. Holgate rewarded the four top executives for negotiating this $100 million deal by giving them $5,000 Cartier watches. In a cheap piece of political theatre, Scott Morrison demanded she resign, saying the use of taxpayers' money to buy the watches was disgraceful and ordered Christine Holgate to stand down pending an investigation. Well, now the investigative report has been completed and it concludes Christine Holgate broke no laws or rules. The report was conducted by the Maddox law firm, hired by the Morrison government. The report says quite clearly, There is no indication of dishonesty, fraud, corruption or intentional misuse of Australia Post funds relating to the Cartier watches. However, in a disgusting gambit to continue the character defamation, the report argues that since there are no specific rules governing the rewarding of executives for performance with watches, therefore, according to the report, Christine Holgate did not do the right thing. So Christine Holgate did something wrong because she failed to follow a rule that did not exist? Adding to the picture, John Stanhope was the Australia Post chairman of the board when the watches were purchased in 2018. He admitted he agreed to reward the executives and they deserved it, and the amount of the reward was not an issue. He also said, I do think Christine has been caught in some kind of wider play. Isn't it clear this is a deliberate witch hunt targeting Christine Holgate for defamation? Think about it. The Morrison government spent at least $100,000 to create this report, which investigated $20,000 in watches. The Maddox report proves Barnaby Joyce was right when he did an abrupt about turn in the parliament on the 2nd of December, admitting he was wrong to condemn Holgate. The Citizens Party said from the beginning this was a politically motivated character assassination on behalf of the big four banks. We call for the board of Australia Post to be replaced. They have demonstrated themselves to be spineless participants in a witch hunt. In addition, we agree with Bob Catter MP and call for Christine Holgate to be reinstated to her position as CEO of Australia Post. This is necessary to restore the viability of Australia Post and of the small business families who run its licensed post offices. The LPOs support Christine Holgate. They say Christine Holgate is the best CEO they've ever had. And in fact, she saved them from bankruptcy and ruin. So replace the Australia Post board and reinstate Christine Holgate. Most importantly, please sign our petition calling for an Australia Post bank. The exoneration and reinstatement of Christine Holgate is urgent on its own terms. It's also an historic opportunity to give Australians a better future by creating a national postal bank. We need your support to make it happen.